Shalom. Call Hello, Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom, to the Akim and to the Akwaf, that will be you brothers and sisters. Adawan Ratazah, that is to say, Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. To feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And this lesson is going to be entitled, Why Are We in These Conditions? Question mark. Why are we in these conditions? Well, the Bible tells you. Okay? The Bible tells you why. Okay? Bible tells you so. Okay? And um, I was uh, reading uh, the book of uh, Nehemiah, the ninth chapter. I was actually listening to it. Okay? And um, I listened to uh, about up to the 13th chapter. Okay? But the ninth chapter kind of stood out to me. It reminded me of the book of, of, the, of Judges. Okay? of how our people just constantly go off and transgress against the Lord and the Lord will send them a savior, you know, and they will do good for a portion of time and then they'll turn back to evil. And it's just a, it's just like a, 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 a revolving door that's going back and forth, going back and forth, you know, of our, our, our people, how they just can't get it right. And then you have people that like they ask you, like why we go through all what we go through. Well, we live under the curses of the book of Deuteronomy, all right, the 28th chapter, all right, from the 15th verse on down to the 68th verse. Why? Because we transgress against the Lord as a people, man, okay? You see? And he put different nations to rule over us, man, because why? We wasn't adhering to his commandments, man, from the time of the days of old, you see? But people... They, they still say, why are we in these low conditions and why are we always at the bottom? And it's right in the scriptures for you to see. From from ancient times, we've been, as a people, our people have just been going off. Can't get it right. Wouldn't turn to the Lord. You know? Now, you have you have men of the Lord, you have women uh, uh, of the Lord, you know? You have, yeah, you have uh, brothers here, sisters there that, 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 you know, stand true in their hearts an integrity uh, of trying to put their best foot forward to serve the Lord. Yes, you do have men and women of, uh, uh, of that stature when it comes to serving the Lord and trying to keep his weight. Yes, you do have that. Okay? But the number of our people that do wickedly is great, man. You see? And then they're always trying to figure out why. They're always saying why and asking why as if they don't know. It's because our people are wicked, man. You see? So the Lord brings judgment towards our people, rightfully so. You see? So, I have a few uh, scriptures I want to get into real quick, you know, a few passages, uh, one or two chapters real quick, and we're going to go through them real quick. Okay? Uh, the first one is the book of Judges. Okay? Because when I was reading, listening to uh, Nehemiah, the ninth chapter, this, this, this it reminded me of uh, uh, the book of Judges. And I, I'll get Judges, the second chapter and I'll start at verse 6 alright and it says and when Joshua had let the people go the children of Israel went every man unto his inheritance to possess the land okay this is after we got into the land of Israel okay it says and the people served the Lord all the days of Joshua and all the days of the elders that outlived Joshua who had seen all the great works of the Lord that he did for Israel right so coming out of Egypt remember we went into the wilderness okay we went into the wilderness, man, and the Lord kept us there for 40 years. Our people was going round and round in a circle because they couldn't get it right. They, they, were, they, were, they were in unbelief, okay? They, 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 they were murmuring and doing all this kind of sorts of stuff to the point where the Most High just had them going around in circles for 40 years, man, okay? 
But it says, um, it says, And Joshua, the son of Nun, the servant of the Lord, died being 110 years old. And they buried him in the border of his inheritance in uh, Timnaharis, Timnahath Haris, in the Mount of Ephraim, and on the north side of the hill, Gaash. It says, And also all that generation were gathered unto their fathers, and there arose another generation after them. So after the generation of Joshua and the elders and you know all who was of that time, it said arose another generation. Right? And it says, After them which knew not the Lord, nor yet the works which he had done for Israel. You see? And it says, And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord and served Balaam. See? They left from serving the true power. Okay? And and and, 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 and start serving other gods, man. They start going off. You see? And it says, verse 12, and they forsook the Lord power of their fathers, which brought them out of the land of Egypt, all right, and followed other gods of the gods of the people that were around about them and bowed themselves unto them and provoked the Lord to anger. So this was provoking the Lord. It says, verse 13, Judges chapter 2, verse 13, and they forsook the Lord and served Baal and Ashtoreth. And the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel, and he delivered them into the hands of spoilers, you see? So it's the Lord who's doing it, man, for, for your transgressions, man. All right? And he delivered them into the hand of spoilers that spoiled them. And he sold them into the hands of their enemies round about so that they could not any longer stand before their enemies. Right? So the Lord weakened them, man. You see? Because they ain't serving the Lord. They ain't keeping his commandments. They ain't keeping his way. All right? So it's all right here in the scripture. Why are we in the conditions what, what we in, man? Why we were brought low and why people rule over us, man? Because our, our forefathers was going off, okay? And to this very day, our people going off, man. Okay? Judges 2.15. Whethersoever they went out, the hand of the Lord was against them for evil. You see? As the Lord had said, and as the Lord had sworn unto them, and they were greatly distressed. You see? Now, for some of you who like to talk about, oh, uh, God is good all the time, right? Yeah, the Lord is good, okay? But that's not all he is. It, there is a balance. There is an other side for when you get out of hand. If you need to be punished, judged, okay? Whatever, reprimand, rebuke, okay? Admonished, it's going to happen according to your works okay so the lord is a balanced power man the scripture tells you that uh proverbs 11 and 1 a, 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 a false uh a false weight is an abomination to the lord uh i'll go again so like you, uh a false balance is an abomination to the lord but a just weight is the, is his delight you see so the lord works in balance man you have right you have left you have light, you have darkness. Okay? That's how it works. Okay, verse 16, it says, Nevertheless, the Lord raised up judges. You see? So the Lord raised up judges among our people, man. Nevertheless, the Lord raised up judges, which delivered them out of the hand of those that spoiled them. All right? It says, And yet, they would not hearken unto the, to their judges, See, they, they didn't want to respect authority. But they went a whoring after other gods and bowed themselves unto them. They, they turned quickly out of the way which their fathers walked in, obeying, obeying the commandments of the Lord, but they did not so. So this, this new generation was just <laughs> like the generation we got now. They far gone, man. Okay? They far gone, man. All right? As the scriptures say, they are gone away backwards. Judges chapter 2 verse 18 And when the Lord raised up the judges Then the Lord was with the judge And delivered them out of the hand of their enemies All the days of the judge For it repented the Lord because of their groanings By reason of them that oppressed them And vexed them You see this is why people oppress you And vex you to this very day The Lord put these people over you man Okay It says and it came to pass When the judge was dead 
that they returned and corrupted themselves more than their fathers. So you see, every time the Lord was sent as a judge, during the time when the judge was there, you know, Israel Israel behaved a certain way. It might have been okay for a while, but when, when, when the judge go away or the elders, that's it. They go back to the old way, man. It says, in following other gods to serve them and to bow down unto them, they, they cease not from their own doings nor from their stubborn way. And the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel, and he said, because this, Slakia, because that, this people have transgressed my covenant, which I have commanded their fathers, I have and, and have not hearkened, meaning to listen unto my voice, I also will not henceforth drive out any from before them, meaning these other nations. All right. I also will not henceforth, henceforth drive out any from before them of the nations which Joshua left when he died. Okay, so the Lord saying, y'all wanna, y'all wanna continue doing your own thing and think like it's no consequence. He gonna let these nations have their way with you, man. You see, uh, verse twenty-two it says, and through them I may prove Israel whether they will keep the way of the Lord to walk therein as their fathers did keep it or not. So the Lord said, you're going to use this to prove y'all, we'll see what y'all going to do. You see? So, yeah, man. <laughs> you ask, you know, people ask and say all the time, why are we in these conditions? This is the reason why. The Bible tells you, man. Because you're continually transgressing against the Lord. And you are special people. You are holy people. All right? The Lord claim you as his people. You're supposed to walk a certain way. Okay? From there, we're going to go to the book of uh, Nehemiah. And we're going to get Nehemiah the ninth chapter. All right? Uh, Nehemiah. Let's go to it. Okay, the book of... Uh, let's get it real quick. Let's get into it. Nehemiah. We're going to get the book of Nehemiah. All right? Uh, this is the book of Nehemiah. The ninth chapter, okay, Nehemiah, by the way, in the Hebrew, it's Naka Maya, Naka Maya, which means uh, Yahweh comforts, okay? Um, let's get um, Nehemiah chapter 9 and verse, we're going to start at verse 21, all right? It says, um, it says, uh, Yea, forty years didst thou sustain them in the wilderness, so that they lack nothing. Their clothes wax not old, and their feet swell not. So the Lord sustained us in the wilderness, man. Our forefathers, man. It says, Moreover, thou, thou gavest them, right? It says, Thou gavest them kingdoms and nations, and didst divide them into corners. So they possessed the land of Zihon, and the land of the king of Hashban, and the land of Oj, king of Bashan. Their children also multipliedest that thou as the thou as the stars of heaven and broughtest them into the land concerning which thou hadst promised to their fathers that they should go in to possess it. This is speaking of the land of uh, 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 Israel, man. Okay, which the Canaanites dwell round about there, but that land was given unto us to possess. Verse 24 says, So the children went in and possessed the land. Thou subdued before them the inhabitants of the land, the Canaanites, and gavest them into their hands with their kings and the people of the land, that they might do with them as they would. And they took strong cities and a fat land, and possessed houses full of all goods. This is what the Lord did. Wells digged vineyards and olive yards and fruit trees in abundance. So they did eat and were filled and became fat. Okay? <laughs> so people became fat in the land, man. Alright, it says, and, del and delighted themselves in thy great goodness. Right? It's the goodness of the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Verse 26, it says, Nevertheless, they were disobedient and rebelled against thee and cast thy law behind their backs. Now, you, you, you want to know why we're in these low uh, uh, conditions, man, as a people? This is the reason why. Our people cast the Lord, the Lord behind their backs. It says, and slew thy prophets, which testify against them to turn them to thee. So the, the prophets, 
Okay, we, we all just speaking the words of the Lord, trying to get you to repent and turn back to the Lord. But but as the prophets are old, they you know, they, they slow the prophets, man. You know? It says, uh, and they wrought great provocation. So right, so this is provoking the Lord, man. All right, verse 27, it says, Therefore thou deliverest them into the hand of their enemies. So see, this is the reason why, okay, why we are in these conditions. The Bible tells you so, man. Okay, why are we in these conditions? Going back to the title of the lesson. All right, well, the Bible tells you. Okay, we're reading it right here. All right, it says, Therefore thou deliverest them into the hand of their enemies, who vex them. And in the time of their trouble, when they cried unto thee, thou heardest them from heaven, and according to thy manifold mercies, thou gavest them saviors. Okay? Going back to the book of Judges again. All of the different judges the Mosai sent to judge our people, man. And the different saviors that came, who the Lord raised up different men to, 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 to bring the nations out of certain situations, man. To bring the nation of Israel out of certain situations. He raised up saviors. Who saved them out of the hand of their enemies. You see? You can't get around it, man. Verse 28. It says, But after they had rest, they did evil again before thee. Therefore leftest thou in the leftest thou left, slack here. Therefore leftest thou them in the hand of their enemies, so that they had so that they had the dominion over them. Yet when they returned and cried unto thee, Thou heardest them from heaven, and many times didst thou deliver them according to thy mercies. You see, many times the Lord deliver our people. You see, verse 29, uh, Nehemiah 9, verse 29. It says, And testifiest against them that thou mightest bring them again unto, the law, unto thy law, meaning the, the, the book, the Bible, okay? Yet they dealt proudly and hearken not unto thy commandments but sinned against thy judgments you see this is the reason why we were brought low which if a man do he shall live in them and withdrew the shoulder right they withdrew the shoulder and hawk and hardened their neck and will not hear you see this is what our people do you pull back the shoulder that's another uh, precept for that thing is what is Zechariah 7 and 11 I believe it is Okay, verse 30, it says, Yet many years didst thou forbear them, right? Because the Lord is long suffering, and testifiest against them by thy spirit in, the, in thy prophets, right? Yet would they not, okay, it says, Yet would they not give air, therefore, therefore gavest thou them into the hand of the people of the lands. This is why people rule over us to this very day. The, the book of Baruch chapter 3 and verse 8 says, Yet this day we are in our captivity where thou hast scattered us for a, for, a, for a reproach and a curse, okay, and made subject to payments according to all the iniquity of our fathers, man, to this very day. All right, verse uh, 30, 31, it says, Nevertheless, for thy great mercy's sake, thou didst not utterly consume, okay, them, nor forsake them, for thou art a gracious and merciful God. You see? The power we serve is merciful, man. The scripture says, mercy is endured forever. Now, therefore, our power, the great, the mighty, and the terrible God, who keep his covenant and mercy, let not all the trouble seem little before thee that hath come upon us, on our kings, on our princes, and on our priests, and on, on our prophets, on our fathers, and all and on all thy people since the time of the kings of Assyria unto this day. So all these different captivities we went into. Okay. Verse 33 says, How be it? Thou art just in all that is brought upon us. Right. For thou hast done right, but we have done wickedly as a people. You see? Verse uh, 34. Neither have our kings, our princes, our priests, nor our fathers kept thy law, nor hearken unto thy commandments, and thy testimonies, wherewith thou didst testify against them, for they have not served thee in their kingdom and in thy great goodness that thou gavest them, and in the large and fat land which thou gavest before them, neither turned they from their wicked works. You see? All right? Uh, that scripture I just uh, 
uh, uh, uh, quoted Baruch 3 and 8. This, this, this verse go with, along with it, 36 and 37. Nehemiah chapter 37, Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 36. Behold, we are servants this day for the land that thou gavest unto our fathers to eat the fruit thereof and the good thereof. Behold, we are servants in it. Okay? Verse 37. And it yielded much increase unto the kings whom thou hast set over us. You see that? The fatness of the land. Who you think getting it, man? The people who rule over us, man. The scriptures tell you the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, Job 9 and 24. Okay? They, they got the fatness of the land right now. I'll tell you how shall I come and deliver the elect. I don't want to have of that precious number. And I do pray for the brothers that believe. Okay? The sisters that believe. And this truth and believe on the Arabash and our shine. It says, verse 37, and yielded much increase unto the kings whom thou hast set over us because of our sins. Also they have dominion over our bodies, you see, and over our cattle at their pleasure. And we are in great distress. You see, we are in great distress. So, hey, why are we in these conditions? The Bible tells you, so we're reading it. All right, I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to get, uh, really quick, we're going to get Isaiah. Uh, we get ready to close it out. We're going to get Isaiah. Isaiah, that was the 42nd chapter. Isaiah, the 42nd chapter. We're going to jump in here at the uh, 22nd verse. It says, But this people, but this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes and they are hid in prison houses. See, our people are the most uh, locked away, man, in, in the daughter of Babylon, aka America, man. Ain't nobody behind the prison wall more than our people. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, so-called, man. All right? You, you, whose uh, lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You're the Israelites, man. It says, but this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes, and they are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey, and none deliver it. For a spoil, and none say it restore. You see, all this because we transgress against the Lord. It says, verse 23, Isaiah 42, 23. Who among you will give air to this? Who will hearken and hear for the time to come? Who gave Jacob for a spoil? Now, who is Jacob, the progenitor, the patriarch of the 12 tribes of Israel? That's where the Israelites is talking about us. Who gave Jacob for a spoil and Israel to the robbers? Did not Yahweh, did not the Lord, he against whom we have sinned? So it's the Lord who did this because we transgress against him, right? It says, for they would not walk in his ways, neither were they obedient unto his law. It says... Therefore had he poured upon him the fury of his anger, all right, and the, and the strength of battle, and it had set him on fire round about. Yet he knew not, and it burned him, and he laid it not to heart. You see? So our people, man, this is why the Lord called them silly. We're going to get that scripture, and we're going to get, we're going to get ready to close it out, man. All right? Uh, the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah the fourth chapter and uh, the twenty second verse. We're gonna close up with this. It says, um, "For my people is silly. Okay. They have none. They have not known me. They are saddish children. When you look at that word saddish, it means stupid, foolish. Okay. It says they are saddish children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good." They have no knowledge, and that's that. That's that's a lot of that's a, that's the bulk of our people, man. All right, they so busy chasing the bag, committing adultery, and and, and and killing one another. It's crazy, you know. The curses tell you how, how that I will be evil toward that brother. So this is how our people behave, man. And then you uh, then you ask why the people of the other nations looking at you like me, like you you mean you people can't just you can't even control yourself. That's how they look at you, man. Okay? And you say, why are we in these conditions? Well, the Bible tells you, man. Read the scriptures. I just read a few for you. Okay? So, uh, hey, it would behoove you to seek the Lord and turn to the Lord and, and walk the right way. Okay? The scriptures say, Acts 3.19, Repent, even therefore, and be converted, so that your sins may be blotted out, when the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. So, the scriptures say to seek the Lord, Okay, while he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near. Okay? And the, and the scriptures tell you uh, uh, how the Lord's mercy is great, man. Let me go to that so I can read the seventh verse. Okay? This is uh, the book of uh, 
before I close up, just so you know the Lord mercy. We could, we, I could never tell you this enough through the scriptures. The Lord, the Lord say He's gonna pardon. He's gonna, he's gonna pardon uh, abundantly, man. So at the end of the day, uh, don't let your sins weigh you down, man. No matter what you do in this world, if you stop from going left and you turn right, turn to the Lord. You know, if you be of that number of the elect, the Lord is gonna deliver you, man. All right, just remember His mercy is endured forever. I also remember wrath and mercy come from the Lord, man. So if you're seeking the Lord of mercy, you got to be walking uh, to do right in His sight, integrity of your heart, because the Lord do know your heart. All right. So this is Isaiah chapter. Um, where is it again? Isaiah chapter. Uh, yeah, uh, fifty-five. Isaiah fifty-five. I read six again, but this, I want seven for the point. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our power for he will abundantly pardon. See, that's the point. The Lord will abundantly pardon, man. Okay, and I'm going to get one more scripture that comes to mind. Also, Tobit, the book of Tobit, chapter 13 and verse 6, it says, to, you know, turn to the Lord and see what he would do with you, man. Also, Second Chronicles, chapter 7 and verse uh, uh, 14, I think it is, it says, my people, okay, my people, all right, who, who are called by my name shall, you know, turn to the Lord and humble and pray. Then will the Lord hear from heaven. Then will he hear from heaven and, 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 and bless them and heal their land, roughly paraphrasing. You see? So, yeah, man. Come before the Lord humbly and truly and in sincerity, man. Okay, uh, let's get this real quick and we're going to close it out right here. Um, let's start again. Uh, Ecclesiastic is otherwise known as Sirach chapter 2 and verse 11. For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering and very pitiful and forgiven sins and save it in time of affliction. So you got to know the long, uh, uh, the, the mercies of the Lord endure forever, man. So seek the Lord, okay, and, 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 and turn to him. It might be that you find a refuge in the day of his wrath. All right? So uh, I'm going to end it there, Lord, when you edify it. On to the next one. Shalom.